For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to show you how simple it is to set up capacitive touch sense inside of CircuitPython. So this is an example where I have a little cutie pie here, and I'm going to use one of its pins as a capacitive touch pin, which means I can touch it or get really, really close to it without even touching it, and it'll sense the difference in the capacitive uh, storage potential of me and effectively close the circuit for me or touch, touch it uh, to create some sort of an effect inside of the code. So in this example, I just have one pin on here, the RX pin. And when I can, when I touch it, you can see it's acting like a button. I just have it turning on a bunch of these LEDs here. I've got a funky, uh, I've got a broken NeoPixel ring here, so ignore these busted ones over here. Uh, but that is just uh, the same as any kind of button or switch that you could close, except it doesn't require an additional mechanical part. Uh, this is also really effective for when you want to cover something because you don't actually have to make contact with it. So you can use a piece of paper or fabric or something like that and still be able to touch something. So let's take a look at how this works. What's happening in code? I'm importing the board for pin definitions, importing time so I can put a little delay in, importing the touch IO library, and I'm importing NeoPixel. Then I set up a variable called touch pin, which equals touch IO dot touch in, and then the board dot RX pin or whatever pin you're using. Then I have a little bit of NeoPixel set up, and then it's just so simple. Inside of the main loop of the program, I just simply check to see if touch pin value is true. If it is true, then the things inside of this happen. LEDs get filled red. I print the word touch, and then I have a little sort of debounce pause there. Otherwise, it lifts the, uh, the pins back up to black. And so that's how easy it is to set up a capacitive touch pin inside of CircuitPython. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.